Hey guys, welcome to Modern Dude Chat. I don't know what we're going to call this. Uh, NFL Pick'ems. So, this is a new video series we're checking out. And instead of taking up your listening time on the podcast, we're going to make some picks and have some fun with the NFL on this video and future videos. Uh, Cody may jump in, may jump out. He's sitting off screen, living in his football world. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh oh. <laughs> We're, Man U is currently losing 3 to 1, so Cody's losing his mind silently over here. So, on this, we're, so the style we're going to do, I'm going to do, look at me, I'm the captain now. Uh, we're going to go through week two picks. I'm going to go through every game. We're just going to do a pick them. Bang, bang, bang. Quick notes, quick hits. And I've highlighted a couple where we might get into the wager side of things. So there's, i got one, two, three, four games over here that uh, if you were wanting to dabble, these are the ones I would dabble in. And uh, let's go ahead and do it. Let's kick it off. We'll go noon threes, Sunday night and Monday night. Starting out, San Francisco at the New York Jets. Easy. San Francisco all day. Le'Veon Bell's out for the Jets, and uh, they always look rocky. I like Sam Darnold, but he's just like never coming through yet, so maybe he'll get there. Either way, 49ers, easy pick there. Next up, Bills at Dolphins. Again, Josh Allen is my dude. He's on my fantasy squads. I like him. I like the Bills. And until Tua T starts starting for the Dolphins, Bills all day, uh, no problem there. Next game up, Minnesota Vikings at Indianapolis Colts. This is the first one of the day to catch my eye because currently the Colts are minus three over the Minnesota Vikings. It's Vikings are three-point underdog. I am hammering that all day long. Minnesota plus three. That's the first, first against the spread of the day. Vikings plus three over Indianapolis Colts. That one's crazy to me. Maybe there's something going on they won't know about, but I had to double check that one twice. Uh, Vikes over Colts plus three. Then we got the Lions at Green Bay. Uh, that one easy. Green Bay, not really concerned about it. And then, then we got the Dallas matchup. Atlanta at Dallas. Dallas home opener. I am picking Dallas. I don't feel good about it. Don't feel great about it. I'm not even going to pick against the spread on this game because uh, Dallas is minus three and a half. And if I were to, I would probably take Atlanta against the spread. But just outright picking Dallas to win. Hopefully we can get off on the right foot. The loser of this game is going to be 0-2 to start the season, which is not good for playoff hopes. Then, move on, NFC East, here we go, New York Giants at the Bears. Another one, I'm taking the underdog, the Bears are a five and a half point favorite over the Giants. I'm taking the New York Giants to win outright, but I'm second pick of the day against the spread. New York Giants plus five and a half, and I would even go so far as to double down in this game. The over's at 42 Hit the over, hit the Giants plus five and a half. Back to back NFC East games. LA Rams at Eagles. Eagles are favored by one point. How? Don't know. Don't care. Hit the Rams. Third against the spread of the day. Rams outright. Rams plus one. Easy pickings. So hopefully uh, the Eagles will be 0 2 as well uh, to start this season. Then, uh, to finish up the day, Jaguars at Tennessee Titans. Titans, not a hard pick there. Carolina at Tampa Bay. That one, take Tampa Bay. Not worried about that one either. Tom Brady gets his first win in Tampa. Then we got Denver at Pittsburgh. Sorry to our boy Brady, but Denver's going down again. Pittsburgh looked real strong last week, and I would go... Easy to say they're going to win against the Broncos. Move on to the afternoon games. Washington football team, football players of Washington at Arizona. Res uh, whoop, I almost did it. The football players looked good last week, but I think Arizona's going to get the win on this one. 
Kansas City versus the Los Angeles Chargers. Kansas City all day. There's only a handful of teams that can even match up against them. Chargers ain't it. They ain't one of them. Then uh, Baltimore at Houston. I still can't get my head wrapped around the idea that Hopkins doesn't play for the Texans. So I see that matchup thinking, oh, that's a decent matchup. Then I remember the Texans have nobody to catch the ball from Deshaun Watson. So that one's Baltimore easy. No problem. Then we got Sunday night football, New England at Seattle. This one's going to be fun. This one's going to be good. Cam Newton for the Patriots goes to Seattle to face Russell Wilson. I couldn't pick. This one was, I thought, this is probably the one I thought the most about. But I am going to go ahead and pick the New England Patriots to win. Partially because Seattle is not going to get their home field advantage because no one will be in the stands. So, even playing field, I will take Cam's Patriots versus Russell Wilson's no names. Uh, but Rus Russell's good and Seattle's good. I just don't think they're going to beat him. And then Monday Night Football to end the week, New Orleans Saints versus the Las Vegas Raiders. This is my last pick, fourth against the spread. I think New Orleans is going to win outright, but the bet is hit the over 48 and a half. I think this one's going to be high scoring. It's going to be a fun game, even with Michael Thomas out for the Saints. And, uh, yeah, I think we got some good football games. I don't think as many good matchups as last week. But, again, it's so glad. So glad. It's so glad. It's so good to have uh, football back and to just have normal Sundays and Monday nights. So, uh, here we go. Week two, that's the pick. I'll check back in after the, the games are over. We'll see how we did and look forward to week three. Uh... Any promotional stuff? Yeah, follow us at Modern Dude Chat across the board. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. YouTube is where this video is going to be posted and might be posted across other social media. And then Patreon.com. We uh, appreciate everyone who's already a patron. If you're not and you want to get in on all the good stuff there, Patreon.com. Search Modern Dude Chat. And that's going to do it for this week's NFL Picks. Uh, we'll catch you on the podcast this week. Peace.